This is Archbishop John Baptist Odama of Gulu announcing to you the good news, the beatification of Father Dr. Ambrosoli Joseph, which is supposed to be on the 20th of November 2022 at Kalongo Parish. We are blessed that this beatification is taking place in our Archdiocese of Gulu. It was supposed to be in Rome, but Pope Francis decided that such event should take place in the area where the blessed to be has worked, so that his life can inspire the people of the area to holiness of life. We are blessed not only for the Archdiocese of Gulu, Uganda, for Africa, but for the whole world and for the whole Catholic Church in general and for humanity. May this celebration truly profit us. Dr. Ambrujoli arrived here in Kalong in 1956 and he dedicated the whole of his life until March 27, 1987 when he finally died and went back to the Lord. He was a priest and a missionary who dedicated his life here to serve the sick. He used his professionalism to bring healing after the command of Jesus Christ to his disciples, go out to the whole world, preach, heal the sick and raise the dead. This is what Dr. Ambrosioli did while he was here in this hospital. When he arrived here in 1956, Kalon was just a dispensary being run by the Comboni sisters. And you know, Father Dr. Joseph Ambrosioli came from a very wealthy home. But seeing the needs here, the suffering of the people here on the ground, this humble servant of God raised the dispensary of Calon to the statue of a hospital, which now has a capacity, I think, of 300 beds, you know, treating the sick. He was first of all a man of faith. He's a martyr. A martyr is the one who witnesses to the faith in Jesus Christ the Savior. He was a very, very prayerful man and also very intelligent but very humble. He used his intelligence, his professionalism to bring hope, to bring healing to the sick. to say that uh, Venerable Joseph Ambrosoli had a great impact on me. Uh, we are already progressing uh, with the, the arrangement for the beatification of uh, Venerable Ambrosoli uh, that will take place on the 20th of November 2022. Uh, we have already so far uh, had the seventh meeting was done today in Calon. Uh, the previous ones were done in Gulo in Kitgum, in Gulo, and Kalan again. The next one will be in Kitgum. So we have in uh, total uh, 16 uh, subcommittees, uh, and then of course it is uh, coordinated by the executive, and that is composed of the chairperson, that is Monsignor Matthew Dong, the vicar general and moderator of the Curia, and then uh, myself as the secretary, and then the other committees with their heads. Uh, we have already gone a long way. Uh, what uh, we have uh, achieved so far is that the committees are now fully, uh, uh, I mean fully in place and regular meetings are going on. And also we have got the permission uh, to raise funds uh, towards this uh, uh, process of the beatification. And uh, <clears throat> we are all very grateful to the different subcommittees for what they're doing. We are also very grateful 
to the host, host uh, committee that is here in Calon. And I'm also grateful to Calon Times, especially uh, the founder and uh, editor, uh, Madame Florence, uh, who is initiating this. And we're also grateful for all the information that is uh, passed through Calon Times. It gives us a lot of updates, some notification. Since this is a universal event of the Catholic Church, we expect many people to come. And we also expect that prior to that, there will be spiritual preparations like uh, prayers, adoration, and holy masses, and the vigils that is done here so that we people are prepared. I know that many people will come because of the faith in God and faith in the Dr. Ambrosoli and because of belief that he is in heaven and also he can intercede for us. And that is why many people will be coming. I uh, know we shall prepare uh, materially, spiritually, and all aspects. But on that particular day, most of the people will be coming because they want to be in touch with God. They want to, uh, to get intercession uh, through Dr. Ambrosoli. But above all, this occasion should bring us love, unity, and living in peace. And encourage us to encouragement to the people who have suffered so much during these various uh, challenges of life, including uh, the fact that we have a, an important hospital here that was started by Dr. Ambrosoli, and many people will have to again come up, join hands, and through the development uh, arm of the, these committees, that we may contribute towards the, this hospital that is named after Dr. Ambrosoli. When I heard that Father Dr. Ambrosoli was going to be beatified, it really gave me a very, very great joy. So for me, I said, he is worth the fact that the people of Kalongo managed to keep this place when the rebels, even like the uncle of Mr. Alex, was taken and was going to be buried alive. But then, I believe Father Ambrosoli was praying for them, which changed the mind of the rebels. Those are all miracles of Father Ambrosoli. To me, I said he started doing his miracle even before. So he's he, he deserved to be beatified. One of us is being declared blessed, and so that is a, a great signal, a great sign for all of us that uh, holiness is possible, it's our common call, and besides, uh, holiness is possible in this, our environment, where sometimes we might, uh, as it happens to all human beings, complain about the circumstances or the particular difficulties that we have. And yet, uh, we have to make uh, opportunity out of uh, difficulty. And this is a great teaching from Father Ambrosoli that in spite of the difficulties that he met, he was able to be a powerful witness of Christ in the midst of this reality. And during those times that uh, war ensued, there were economic difficulties and all those other issues. And he was able really to give of himself to create really a beautiful reality of of love, of understanding, of service around him. So the people of Kalongo, I think they are very, very happy, they are very grateful because the image and the example of one of us is being lifted up to the eyes of the world to see and particularly the people of this area, they are, of course, like I would think many other human beings, of course, but I see that the people here are very proud of their, of their place, their culture, their origins, and, and the people who have also helped them um, throughout these years, especially with regard to the faith, to come to know the Lord, and to be able to celebrate that uh, 
uh, abundance of gifts that we have received from the Lord and to commit ourselves to follow the example of this blessed that the church is presenting to us. Uh, we are preparing hard, people are very committed, they are very willing and they are trying their best to make this day memorable. In the church, everyone, whether belonging to the hierarchy or cared for by it, is called to holiness. Lumen Gentium 39. It is attained by the grace of God, seen in the fruits which the Spirit received at baptism and produced in the faithful of all walks of life through the practice of faith, hope and charity. Every person must walk without hesitation according to their own personal gifts and duties in the path of living faith. The Venerable Father Dr. Joseph Ambrizoli lived as such, and we are all challenged in our own ways to strive for this kind of holiness and perfection. <laughs>